Not bad. I'm digging it. You digging it? Yeah. Okay. Right now we're using Unity and Unreal Engine. And we're teaching them, um, first of all, how to add physics so that the ball can have gravity and mass and move up and down. Should it knock them over? Should it not have gravity and float? You don't have the rigid body 2D, you've got the collider. Make okay. sure that for the bowling pins you have rigid body 2D. Technology actually enhances education. We know that there's 400 IT jobs waiting out there in Stevens Point area alone, right? It's become essential. It's not about putting a technology in and replacing old ways of teaching. It's about the best way to use that technology. When we're using technology, we're going to be respectful. We need to be responsible. You know, how a third grade classroom is using technology is going to be different than how a 10th grader is going to be using technology. The key is to match the learning goals and the technology tool for each level. Boys and girls, would you please open up your Chromebook screens? All right, you do two things. You're going to type everything in over here, and then you're going to click next, and then you're going to This is a lot different than going to Starbucks and connecting to public Wi-Fi. It's the backbone of our network. So if you can imagine everything that gets connected to the school, whether it's a computer, a wireless access point, a phone, all has to run back somehow to these switches. Um, these do not last forever, and they have to be upgraded. We had an outage very recently, and when that school's down, no parent can call in, no one can reach them by phone. They can't do attendance, they can't do food service, they can't send any email, they can't do their grades. Education is really dependent upon that network infrastructure. We are really fortunate to have the Century Foundation. That provides one-to-one -one laptops for our high school students. But right now, our elementary students really top. lag far Remember behind. You take your two fingers on your trackpad and you go like this. I'm going to come around. Because we had a limited amount of funds, we had a limited amount of you Chromebooks that we were able to purchase. I can't tell you how many teachers have come to me and said, I just don't have access to them. And it's unfair to my students to go and say, we're going to do this, and then have such sporadic okay, so availability. These computers are used for video production class. We can't use them for what we need anymore. That's true of thousands of computers in the district that will be going out the door, and we don't have a plan to replace them unless we have funding. I believe this class was started in like 2006, and we only have three keyboards left that work. It's, and it's very frustrating for the students because they get on it, and we spend half the class trying to get it to work. Can you think of one? Which one? Most of our classrooms have a desktop computer. Those have hard drives that are crashing. Our teachers are using some laptops that have come from our secondary students who have graduated, and then they make their way to the teachers. Most of the devices in the elementary school, they'll turn on, but we won't be able to manage them and use them in a school setting uh, at the end of next year. Here you go. Yeah, you got it. We don't want to teach them the same things we've been doing even five years ago. Things are changing, especially in the computer world. We need to be teaching them relevant skills that will help them in the future. I don't care if you are a second grader or a 12th grader, or you are a teacher or you are retired. We've got to keep learning, and we have to keep having opportunities to learn new things. Good digital citizens. We need to log off. The as students are progressing through the education system, and then as they go out into our community, technology gives us an opportunity to enhance those skills. The good news is we do have solutions. There's so many more ways to manage devices, and there's so many great things that we can do with infrastructure. Anytime we can have those wins and success, it's a great feeling to be able to support teachers and students.